I'm Cam Sandu and I'm the founder of realfair.co.uk. And I'm Stefo Driscoll and I'm the artistic director of Inner City Theatre. Real Talks is a collaboration between Inner City Theatre and Real Fair and it's an attempt to access politics through a creative way. Tonight we um, have an event which is an open and frank conversation on employment in 2014 and the format for the event is that we will start off with a performance. So tonight we have Montse Whitney, she's written a short play. We have a spoken word piece from Jess Green and the idea is that these performances will act as a stimulus for a conversation and we'll be looking at employment in 2014. We'll be asking questions such as what does it actually mean to be unemployed? Um, do we agree with things like the work fair scheme, zero contract hours, what are the problems that are actually facing um, people today in the jobs market and most importantly we're looking at alternatives. We are searching for kind of solutions and alternatives and uh, ideas of different ways to do things um, that are away from uh, what politicians might suggest to us. We also have a panel that is made up tonight of Natalie Bennett who is the leader of the Green Party, uh, Tom Barlow who is Equalities Officer of Greater Manchester Community Union and Michael Tran who is from Youth Employment UK. And uh, after each stimulus, each performance, we will go to them to kind of throw up a question and briefly talk to them before we throw it out to the audience and that's the most important bit is getting out to the audience and letting the conversation take its own shape with the voices of kind of everyday people involved. Welcome to Job Centre Plus, part of the Department for Work and Pensions. Okay, so what do you suggest that I do because I am really starting to feel drained by all of this, yet yeah, I'm not working and I'm not receiving any benefits, I haven't got enough money for food. These documents have been scanned, emailed and faxed to you, they've been sent over to you three times and nothing seems to be getting through to you and no one has given me a call back. And how many people to the Job Centre help to get a job? Well, that's <laughs> Um, tonight this event is actually in Hoxton Hall, um, so we are um, looking at hearing the voices of the local people of Hoxton and it's really, really important that they get to have their say on these presentation issues. And I think that's the point, it's like Joel's, it's about spending time with people, you can help people get back into work mm. if you spend time with them and listen to them and hear their story. What actually is wrong is that is, is the, the economy is profoundly broken and the economy isn't providing jobs. And so the whole thing starts from the wrong premises. It's not surprising, therefore it's not working. I think uh, a lot of political conversations can often exclude a lot of people um, through several ways, through kind of the way they talk, the, the officialese that they throw out to kind of trick people, as well as the kind of political... Uh, PR, the one-upmanship that often takes away from the issues at hand, which means that we need things like this uh, to, to kind of make sure that we're getting back in touch with the issues and hearing the voices of the people that these things are affecting. And, and it's really important that we just start to have this conversation. That's, that's literally what we're doing and we're trying to use the arts um, as, as an access point for that. We hope that it will kind of inform people, it will educate people by hearing each other's experiences as well as kind of empower them by, by getting their voices heard in, in some sort of environment uh, and we hope that kind of everyone will be able to take something away from tonight.